Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. This is the show where we teach you all kinds of great things about WordPress, WordPress plugins, themes, functions, all this fun stuff. We put some plugins and themes head to head and we kind of see who's the clear winner or not so clear winner sometimes. Usually uh, not so clear. Yeah, usually not so clear. So today we're going to look at an interesting little yeah. uh, concept that we've conjured up in these last videos sure. if you've watched them. Uh, it's about these ecosystems, yeah. uh, e-commerce ecosystems within WordPress. Right. So we've we've talked a lot about it. We've done multiple um, video reviews. We talked about Jigo Shop. We talked about WooCommerce. We talked about MarketPress. Um, we talked about WP e-commerce. And a lot of people were asking, you know, for for a review of these plugins. You know, which one's the best? And at this point in time, what we're coming to see, and this is where the ecosystem conversation started. Mm -hmm. Is that you know you're not really just buying in anymore to a simple plugin that you're going to throw on your website and allow yourself to sell something, and then, hey, I get tired of this plugin and this one looks a little fancy or a little shinier. Let me move over. You're really buying into a full ecosystem here. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty amazing to see uh, how much uh, you know iTunes has yeah. affected the the technical startup right. or the technical founder of a company like like a WooCommerce, mm -hmm. uh, like Jigo Shop, uh, like MarketPress, which is by WPMU, yeah. uh, and GetShop. So we're gonna look at these four uh, plugins that we've already reviewed right. uh, in our last uh, e-commerce mm -hmm. series. Uh, and I'll just one more time: it's WooCommerce, <laughs> Jigo Shop, MarketPress. Yeah. Uh, and get shopped. Sure. Uh, WP e commerce. Sure. So uh, let's jump right into WooCommerce. I'm going to just sure. pull it up on the screen here. Yeah, of course. So uh, from our uh, from our own uh, discovery, you know, WooCommerce is probably the most robust ecosystem yeah. that we found. Uh, and when we say ecosystem, we're talking themes, plugins, uh, extensions for plugins, support. Mm -hmm. And community, yeah. uh, I think Woo Themes, uh, the makers of WooCommerce, mm -hmm. you know, really excel in that on that side of the uh, of the fence. Yeah, there's a there's a lot more, you know, just looking between you know the different kinds of plugins for you know we're looking here at ninety nine dollar plugins. I mean, that's a huge investment right there. Yeah, I, you know, just an interesting note is you know kind of comparing all these these different ecosystems. So you have uh, WooCommerce, which is a free plugin, mm -hmm. and you can start your your e-commerce store for free if you use their pl plugin. But then you have to go and get all these extensions. Right. WooCommerce has uh, nine, yeah, nine ninety nine dollar yeah. extensions. Nine dollar extensions. Uh, you know, so that's a thousand dollars worth of extent, almost a thousand dollars worth of extensions right. uh, in the hundred dollar range. Never mind all the fifty, forty, thirty <laughs> extensions that they have. Right. Um, so it's becoming really. Really robust, and these aren't just these like basic plugins that you know nobody would use. These are you know uh, table rate shipping, you know ch being able to change all your shipping options around depending on what you're doing, um, as well as things like QuickBooks integration. I mean, these are serious things a lot of people would probably want to use if you're taking a small business or an online sales uh, seriously. Mm. Yeah, and, and you know one of the things that catches my eye is uh, they have a software add-on plugin. Yeah. It's ninety nine bucks. You're selling license keys for software. Yeah, I mean, so that's a whole piece of if you're a developer. And you're put, and you're actually creating your own themes or plugins, and you're and you're selling them to the WordPress community. Uh, the whole software license key—that's yeah. a whole other segment that you don't even have to think of. Yeah. So, ninety-nine bucks for something like that, no problem. If you're right. a, if you're a consultant for somebody and you want to say, and you go to a small business and they use QuickBooks for their accounting, they have a QuickBooks inter integration for ninety-nine bucks. Mm -hmm. So, they're they're big price tags compared to your typical twenty-dollar right. or thirty-dollar plugin, but. <laughs> This is really hitting you know, these areas that are super important and exactly. you know integrate perfectly. And it gets sort of dangerous. I mean, think of the iTunes thing. I buy 100 albums on iTunes. I buy a couple of these $99 plugins. Well, now I decide I don't really like it. My iPod breaks, or in this case, you know, I found a function in you know WP e-commerce, for example, or MarketPress that works much better. That will help my business. That doesn't work so well with WooCommerce. Now I'm in that sort of that, that vice where do I ha do I stay with this? Yep. I've already invested so much time and money into this yep. system. Do I just throw myself over? I hear you. I'm looking at Android phones. Yeah. Now. I'm yeah. not, not super impressed by the <laughs> iPhone five, but I've spent a lot of money on apps and productivity apps right. that I don't want to lose. If I go exactly. over to Android, I'm not going to have right. that. There goes, so. there goes potentially fifty to hundred dollars, depending on which apps you've bought. Maybe yep. even more. Yep. Uh, yep. Dollars so, of your money. Yeah. So and, and that's what we want to do again with this episode. We want to make sure that when you're looking at these plugins, you don't just look at them from hey, I just pick up this plugin. It's I want to invest in this ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I want right. to invest in this company. Right. Uh, I've used WooCommerce uh, support before and WooThemes okay. support before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your typical submit a ticket, you'll get a response. Right. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes right. a day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's your, your, your average internet support. Sure. Um, 
Let's talk about uh, WPMU, okay? Uh, which I kind of feel is the close competitor. Right. Um, I don't think there's a real known competition between the two yet, and I'm right. sure they would probably say, right. "Hey, we're not even competitors." Right. But I'm looking at it from ecosystems. I'm looking at it from a exactly. business standpoint. And and when I'm looking at it, I'm seeing that very similar. I hate to keep bringing this back to these this Apple versus the world thing. But this iTunes versus, if you remember the Zune store, when the Zune store released, yep. this very, very specific, two different models going in opposite directions. And these have been around for, 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 you know, for a while now. Mm-hmm. Woof, woof, WooCommerce is very much, you, buy the, you get the plug-in for free, you buy the extensions for it, that's it. The way WPMU is doing it with MarketPress is they're taking a, a very much more macro approach to it. You give us some money, a monthly fee. In this case, they're charging $39.50. Uh, per month uh, for, for their, themselves specifically. And what they do is they give you basically everything. Mm-hmm. So in order to keep that stuff up and running, you need to keep shelling out the money every, mm-hmm. you know, every month. Uh, but they give you access to every one of their plugins and themes, so you don't have to pay for them because you're sort of paying into that when you buy that, yep. when you buy you're, that plugin. You're making that, that annual right. investment up front. Right, you're getting tons of support live from them. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm sure that the other guys aren't, aren't too bad with their support, but mm-hmm. this is live, right, on dot support. Um, you know, refund guarantees and, and things like that. A team of people helping you out for that monthly fee. So now the discussion becomes, depending on my needs as a business, do I go with a plugin like, or a, I'm sorry, yeah, a plugin like this for my WordPress account where, you know, I am going to be using just about every plugin that exists, or am I going to be using a couple here or there, and I can just go with a with a WooCommerce and, yeah. and use that? Yeah, you know, I, it's I'm doing a talk at the Providence WordCamp uh, yeah. this coming Saturday, and you know, it's about selling WordPress to small business. Mm-hmm. If you're a developer or a designer, but you're you know you're progressive and you really understand how to run and support WordPress, right. this kind of solution mm-hmm. probably not for you because you have the years of knowledge and you've been doing it for a while, so you don't okay. understand it. But if you're a, a marketing consultant, yeah, a lot of us, a lot of mar- you know, we deal with a lot of marketing consultants that they know how to get WordPress up and running. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't know how to customize anything. Mm-hmm. They can you know traverse through everything in the, the screens and they can yeah. set up a page and a post. Uh, but when it comes time to you know real detailed support on mm-hmm. code or themes or or you know custom fields and integrated integrating that into the site, right? Uh, or they need new function through a plugin, it's kind of like whoa, where do I go? Yeah. Where, where do I go yeah. for this help? And you know WPMU sort of hits that need, right? Uh, for that kind of right. client, so it's interesting. It's 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 definitely. Um, it's definitely, and, and they have these the one off. You don't have to to dive into right. their ecosystem. You don't have to do it. But. Yeah, you can buy the the one off plugin or theme for nineteen bucks. You get one month of support for free, right. or with that that cost, and then there you have it. Uh, if you want to jump into that support and get everything, it's that forty bucks a month, uh, and you can do a quarterly payment and an, and an annual payment. Mm-hmm. I think an annual payment runs two hundred and ten dollars, yeah. as opposed to four hundred twenty dollars. Right, is if you pay over the course right. of time. So you could just say, you know what, I'll I'll save myself fifty percent and shell up the two ten now. Right. Get everything for a year and just right. expect to make that that right. annual payment for right. a, uh, every year. So my 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 throw out there would be if you're if you're looking to just do a couple of plugins, if you're not looking to buy into this monthly fee, mm-hmm. I I'm, I'm, I almost won't even look into MarketPress because I think that's really its draw. The draw of the other guys is JigaShop, WooCommerce, and WP Commerce. The ones we're talking about is those guys. You just got that free plugin, and then you just get all your, you know, all your extensions as you go. Yeah, I think that with the, you know, the amount, the sheer amount of plugins there, um, you know, you'd want to, you'd want to, you'd want to go uh, yeah. with WooCommerce. Yeah, I mean, look, if you if you had to buy all nine of these ninety nine dollar plugins from right. WooCommerce, you're you know a thousand mm-hmm. bucks. Never mind, and right. all the other stuff you're gonna buy. Mm-hmm. So. Um, interesting. Maybe we should eventually it, it'd be <laughs> to go down and, and, and put each extension head to head. Yeah. You know, I think WooCommerce has the highest grade of these integrated right. extensions. Mm-hmm. Of course, they have a community that they're opened up to where other people can go and build these right. extensions for them. It's not mm-hmm. specifically from them. Yeah. So that's like another side of this ecosystem yeah. coin is now you've be, created a marketplace for folks yeah. uh, to come in and, uh, you know, developers can contribute back and Sort of like the iTunes store again. Yeah, and it, and it just makes sense. I mean, WordPress in itself is an open source. Um, you know, all contributions mm-hmm. from people who use WordPress. They mm-hmm. have their core team of just people who use WordPress and are very, very passionate about it. And I think this ecosystem translates perfectly to yeah. WooCommerce. I agree. With their guys. I agree. And we're back. A little bit of a technical error. Funny. Just a slight error. But anyway, we're going to talk about uh, Jigoshop. 
WP e-commerce. The other side of the spectrum. The other side of the spectrum. Uh, well, let's try to wrap this up uh, before we have any other technical yeah. issues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we, we're talking uh, WooCommerce and WPMU, how I think that that is probably the most progressive ecosystems that we see right now right. as far as mm -hmm. e-commerce is concerned in WordPress. Mm -hmm. uh, so Jiggle Shop being the uh, replica of... Mm -hmm. uh, of WooCommerce, mm -hmm. um, go back to our other episodes and you can learn out, learn about why that is. Right. Um, but their extensions, their themes, probably not as a, ro a robust selection as you see on right. WooCommerce. Still a good selection. Still a good selection. They don't have, uh, you know, $900 extensions. <laughs> that, so they probably don't have a lot of the really finite uh, or heavily integrated things right. that you might mm -hmm. see on the WooCommerce side. Still, if you're in that ecosystem, it does look like it's growing. Mm -hmm. um, it does look like they're adding more. And I'm sure there'll you know, yes. be more to come as it goes right. along. Um, and then we have WP e-commerce as well. And with WP e-commerce, um, even back the first e-commerce episode we ever filmed uh, of this, when it was WooCommerce versus WP e-commerce, the two most popular plugins on WordPress, um, I definitely think that WP e-commerce and looking back on it and now talking about these eco ecosystems is a little bit more, I don't know if behind is the right word, but just not as integrated as an ecosystem. It's, mm. it's probably the most... You know, you don't have to worry as much when you go to WP e-commerce as far as, oh, I don't really like this. I can switch over. Mm -hmm. um, that's for a couple of reasons. One, there just isn't as much plugin support that we notice between the three guys that do offer these, these plugins in this fashion, which is the WooCommerce, WP e-commerce, and Jigo Shop. Um, it has a much more code-oriented or, you know, input-oriented interface built in to your WordPress page. So, you know, it's, it's def definitely not as flashy as the other guys. And what I've noticed a lot, whether it be a plugin from one of the guys or even MarketPress has it built into its, its software, the way it runs into its plugin, is the ability to actually migrate out of WP eCommerce, mm. which is something another thing to talk about too. So these guys offer that stuff because WP eCommerce is, I believe, the, the oldest of, of, of the guys here and sort of the previously used ones. People jumping onto the new thing, onto, the, onto what's new and hot, right, right. Are, are going to uh, be able to just transfer over in a lot of cases their information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't teach an old dog new tricks, yeah. kind of thing. Is where you know we'd like yeah, to yeah, see yeah. we'd like to see these guys right. go and uh, you know compete, right? And kind of you know give us some comp competition is mm -hmm. good. Be great to see these right. guys kind of grow this ecosystem if Jump they back can. Into it. Yeah, yeah if, if they can, um, you know they're probably doing very well because they they are the widest adopted. But yes. I'm sure they're curve is going to start to go down you, got it. Um, you know as we as we move forward they put their peak yeah so um, so that's it so that's that's our take on uh, e-commerce ecosystems um, it's looking at their plugins looking at their themes in some cases looking right. at their support what other additional extensions do right. they have mm -hmm. uh, are they marketing to you is, is are, are the offering are what they offering a good fit for the way that you develop uh, right. WordPress sites or you want to support mm -hmm. WordPress sites like we said WooCommerce probably has the largest amount of selection, mm -hmm. but WPMU gives you that monthly support. So if yes. you if you need that, it's it's a great way to go. Right, just a whole different route, whole different yeah. thinking pattern. Right. Uh, so when you go to start your next WordPress e-commerce site, think ecosystem yeah. before you think plugin, uh, and then from there go from right. ecosystem plugin to extensions yeah. and see what everybody else has to offer. Double check, triple check, do what you have to do. Make sure before you jump into these waters. That the waters you're jumping into are the ones you want to stay in. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you're all pruny in. Right, yeah. <laughs> Please get me out of this pool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so again, we apologize for a little technical error in between. Uh, do subscribe to this show. This is, again, this is Press This. This is the show where we will compare, uh, compete. We will talk about plugins, mm -hmm. themes, WordPress yeah. stuff, give you some reviews, get you some user feedback. I want to start taking some user questions, uh, viewer questions. We had a lot of those on, on the YouTube page. Do subscribe. Uh, to the either YouTube channel or go to slocumstudio.com slash subscribe, slocumstudio.com slash blog to follow all the rest of our awesome Absolutely. stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys.